<laughs> Thanks, kind of nasty, huh? Yeah, nice. <laughs> the adventure of fishing the East Walker. <laughs> these are these are the ones that we come here for. Oh, I think that might be a fish. Yes. Hey everybody, welcome to Familiar Waters Fishing. I am Mike Pulaski. Today, we are going to be chasing monster browns with streamers about the size of my hand. And so, it's Eastern Sierras Fishing. We're on the East Walker River. We're gonna be giving you a ton of technique stuff. So we're gonna be teaching you a technique that we're using, talk about the flies. I'm also gonna talk about how to figure out where the trout are lay laying in the river. And at the end, we're going to talk about the gear that I use as well. So we're going to have all that gear log. We're going to have huge fish. I mean, gross, sick pigs of fish on this show. And we're going to be telling you how to catch these fish uh, in small water over on the Eastern Sierra. But it works essentially everywhere you fish. If you haven't done it yet, make sure that you subscribe down below. You're going to want to hit that bell so that you get notified every time we have new stuff coming out. We're going to have some live YouTube live stuff coming up where we're talking to guides, talking to shop owners, talking to fishermen, uh, talking to big names in the sport, so you guys can come and ask questions about what you need to know. And give us a thumbs up. We all love fly fishing. Hit that thumbs up below. Leave us any comments. I'd love to hear from you. Right now, I'm on the East Walker, Eastern Sierras, just across the Nevada state line, with my guide, Brad McFall, chasing big browns. So, Mike, I know you've been fishing here um, growing up and everything. The East Walker, as you know, it's a tailwater. Um, we're on the Serrani Ranch. So, you know, we're going to focus on some of the deeper runs. Right. Um, fishing, uh, you know, streamers, uh, crayfish, different variations of caddis and mayfly nymphs, and uh, probe for those big fish. start with streamers, you'll get those aggressive fish in the hole first that are either A, going after some of these big chubs that are in the river, we'll talk about that in a little bit, or that you get a reaction strike out of. You try to trigger that predatory instinct, and so you get those fish first. Those are generally bigger fish, and then you can come back through with nymphs, and 90% of a trout's diet come in nymphs, subaquatic food. Absolutely, yeah, you know, and, and the East Walker is, uh, you know, so rich in food source. It's literally a bug factory coming out of Bridgeport Reservoir, you know. Um, there's a ton of forage fish in here, you know. That's why these fish grow so fast and get so big. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's sticklebacks, there's tui chubs, there's white fish, there's carp. Um, lots of different types of bait fish for those big browns to, to chew on. And big rainbows. Yeah, big you know, rainbows too. The, the East Walker is notorious for the brown trout. Right. But there are rainbows just as big. Yeah, they grow there. just the same yeah. size, I mean, same and, speed. And they're hot. You know, they jump, they run. Yeah. They're, they're fun fighting fish. And uh, so, yeah, you know, we'll probe through it with the streamer, look for that aggressive grab, and then uh, clean it up with some nymphs. Outstanding. Let's do her. Nice, good cast. It's nice to have an angler that you just can be like, just do this, this, and this, <laughs> and they do it. <laughs> there you go. There you go, nice. Good. Well, that's a good little first grabber. <laughs> About four or five casts? Yeah. Always nice too being on streamers. Even a small river like this, it's heavier water. You can see it's moving pretty fast. So getting streamers in here, you feel like you get that bigger gay hook and you got a little heavier tippet. Yep. You can muscle them a little bit, not Exactly. A little bow. And so much for big browns being the ones that come up and hammer it, right? <laughs> Kind of an example, you know, you don't have to get these monster fish. That's, those aren't the only ones eating these streamers. Fish in here are tracking all kinds of little um, minnows and chubs and different bait fish from trout fry all the way up to the tui chub, which is a pretty famous yep. food source here, isn't it? Absolutely. Yeah, the tui chubs are uh, 
pretty, you know, prolific all throughout the system. Yeah. And another big, you know, thing is the perch, you know, lots and lots of those perch. And, you know, certain times of the year, usually in the fall when the reservoir gets a little bit lower, more and more of those get sucked out. And you'll see in a full day of fishing, you know, 10 or 15 of them actually come by on the surface, you know, <laughs> doing that twitch that we're talking about. The Sacramento I've actually, perch twitch. Yeah, I've actually seen, you know, big brown trout actually rise like a dry fly yeah, and right. inhale them. Yeah. yeah. You know, so that that can be pretty cool stuff too. Streamer fishing is always fun, and it makes it a little more nymph fishing. You never know what you're going to get. You watch the indicator and it goes down, but streamer fishing, you just feel that tug, and the grab yep. is is a huge part of it. The tug is the drug. <laughs> nice cast. Which again. <laughs> now so go ahead and try it again. Good cast. <laughs> it's alright, it's getting there. Perfect cast. Come on, eat that. Twitch, twitch, twitch. Yeah, nice! <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs> Did you see him come over just clobbering it? Yeah, he hammered it. Woo! <laughs> oh! That's a big fish. All right, yeah. That's a toad. Stick it to him real hard. You got real thick line. We don't want him going over that. There you go. That's the fish we were looking for. <laughs> see, they, they live Dude, right there, that man. That was what you were talking about. He came up and ate that like it was a dry fly. He waked on it and crushed it. Dude, that cast was perfect, too, man. Put it right in that soft current. Twitch, 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 whack. There we go, we're back on the reel. I'm gonna give below you so you can yep. put a kind of a right angle on them. Yep. Bring them right in the soft water. Okay. Yeah, I'm ready whenever you are. Just take your time. Turn them at you, see yep. what he does. And you can put a lot of heat oh, on them. look at that pig. It's a big fish. Keep lifting, there's our big brown. Perfect. Nice. Oh, yeah, <laughs> brother. Woo! Woo! Nice! <laughs> Look at that brownie! Yes, sir! That is a nice... And it came right out. Big... That. Look at that thing. Brown. Gorgeous, huh? Beautiful. That is sick. Where does he go? Uh, let's measure him. A little longer on your neck. He is... 10, 11, 21. 21 and thick and fat. Yeah, nice big wow. East Walker Brown. <laughs> these are these are the ones that we come here for. That's Gorgeous. why this river is so famous. That, that's a little that's blue the fish on right her there. right there. Hold on, hold on. Okay, now go ahead. This river, the East <laughs> Walker, is famous <laughs> for that guy right there. He's still sitting right here. Yeah. He's hanging right at our feet. Touch at his tail. There he goes. There he goes. And that's why it's so legendary, <laughs> brother. That is awesome. Great Super job. Streamers across here too. It, it doesn't get much better than that. You, Phenomenal streamers <laughs> for giant fish sitting in the back of pockets. It is classic Eastern Sierras trout fishing. And I haven't even been out here long enough to worry about putting on sunscreen yet. A lot more of these East Walker fish. And Brad said he's got an even bigger fish upstream, so don't go away. <laughs> that's a hell of a way to start it, you know. <laughs> How are you going to live up to that? Uh, there's a few more of those around. <laughs> well, outside of knowing the bugs, or the bait in this case, you have to know how to get them where they live. So let's talk about where trout live in a stream like this. Trout hang on divides. They hang on um, changes. So if you're looking at a current change, if you're looking at a depth change, if you're looking at a structure change, that's where they'll hang out and feed. And so we're going to run the streamer down that side. As it gets down lower, we'll strip it across the middle, and that's when you get the reaction strike across the middle. And finally, in terms of technique, we're trying to imitate a wounded bait fish. Brad talked about those perch coming out of the dam and how they get wounded as they go through the turbines down below and kind of get messed up. And those big browns and, and the big trout in this creek are really keying in on that kind of wounded bait fish. You're trying to trigger that predatory instinct and here's how I'm doing it. That Just bait fish look. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. We want that fly to twitch, drift, twitch.
switch, drift, you right. know? So a lot of the time it's not just cast it, mend it, let it sink, swing and strip it back. What I like to do is cast it, mend it, sink the fly a little bit, and I'll actually hold the line in my left hand and twitch it real quick, give it a hard pop, and let it tighten back up, hard pop, let it tighten back up, and when you feel that fly start to slow down, then we'll retrieve it back, okay. you know, with an erratic retrieve, kind of okay. strip, 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 pause, strip, pause, strip, 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 pause, you know, and I'll kind of yeah. give you a cadence for it. Yeah. Um, and, you know, streamer fishing can be highly effective here if it's done correctly. Um, you know, kind of a misconception that a lot of people have is there's no wrong way to fish a streamer, which is true to a point, um, but there are much better ways than others. <laughs> does that make sense? Yeah. Yes, so, it does. <laughs> um, you know, the ways that I fish it, I find effective, um, and, you know, we should, we should get some tugs in here. If you haven't done it, make sure you subscribe and ring that bell. Give me a thumbs up for that big sloppy brown and leave me any comments down below. Appreciate you watching. You're going to want to subscribe because we have a ton of great fishing coming at you. And I'll catch you on the next piece of Familiar Waters.